So I have a question here that involves a rectangle and a circle. Uh, it's telling us that BC is the diameter. So we know straight away from that under the what do we know? We know that that must be 16 centimeters. Uh, therefore, we know the radius of the circle must be 8 centimeters. So the radius is 8. So again, we're looking at the information, ticking off what we're doing as we do it. So BC is the diameter. It's got to be the same as 16 because it's uh, the same side length, the opposite to the rectangle. And therefore, the radius of the circle is 8. It says calculate the percentage of the area of the rectangle that is shaded. OK. Give your answer to one decimal place. Right. Um, well, we need to work out the area of the rectangle to start with. So, area of rectangle. Tell the examiners what you're doing. So, write down some information. So, length times the width, or length times height, depends on how you like to use the formula. Um, so, the length is 19, the width was 16. So, that gave us a total area of 19 times 16 equals 304 square centimetres. Okay. So the area of, now we only need half a circle because we need the shaded part. So we can see that the shaded part must be the area of the whole rectangle, take away this half a circle. So it's area of semicircle. Well, we know the area of a whole circle is pi r squared, but we're dividing it by 2. So it's going to be pi times the radius squared divide by 2 times 8 squared equals divide by 2 equals now as this is not the final answer we can leave it as 32 pi square centimeters okay so that's the area of the semicircle so basically we needed the shaded area so shaded area must equal 304 take away 32 pi. So if I just take away 304 and ignore the negative, so 203.469 square centimetres, not the final answer yet, so don't round too soon. Um, and it wants the percentage, so it says calculate the percentage of the area of the rectangle that is shaded. So basically this means um, we need the shaded area over the total area times 100. Uh, when you want an answer as a percentage, then it's always about a fraction times 100. Uh, all you got to do is decide um, what the parts of the fraction are. It's about shaded area, so shaded area over the total area. Um, so from that then, we can see that we'd have to do 203.469 over the total area times 100. OK, so I left that in the calculator. I'm ignoring the negative sign because it's not important. Um, everything was positive. So we're going to divide that by 304 equals, and then we're going to times by 100 equals. So again, ignore the negative sign because that was just part of the way I calculated that, 69.3%. Okay, and then we go back to the question and check that we've done everything. So we've recognised this about a rectangle and a circle. We've done the diameter bit. We've done the calculating the percentage. It says give your answer correct to one decimal place. So our final answer line would be 66.9. Okay, so 66.9% to one decimal place. So that's how that question um, could have been done.